Dear Jesus, I pray that you will speak through me and that this will be pleasing to you and that souls will be, will be awoken from sleep and that you will shine your light using this video to whoever listens to it. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I had a rapture dream. Right behind me is a picture of my son when he was six months old. Now he's seven. No, he's eight, actually. So um, the rapture dream I had was really uh, extreme. So I'm sharing it because I do believe it's from God because it was so real. And I got confirmation because somebody else had a very similar rapture experience in a dream that they also receive dreams from the Lord and I mean I've received dreams from the Lord before it's just that this one was really really wild um, so I'll just share with you my dream and hopefully it will be beneficial to somebody who is waiting for the rapture so I just had a rapture dream I'm still not sure uh, I already said that it, that if it's from God or just my mind, right? Since I've been thinking about the rapture. But it did freak me out. The sky, the entire sky, suddenly changed. And I mean, like, uh, transformed. Like, the entire sky from end to end. Not just one little spot in the sky. No, it was from east to west, north to south. It was the entire sky. It changed color, like it, like as if it was being broken. Okay, open. And in a split second, I started going up in the air. I think it's better if I say shooting up in the air, like a, like a gun. I'm talking about like, like a... A cannon I, I shot up in the air I knew it was the rapture and I saw clouds I, I was just going up so fast I knew I was miles and miles above the earth already and I was like should I look down I'm scared to look down you know because <laughs> I was up high, okay, and so I was like, oh, should I look down, and I was, and then I thought to myself, well, other people have looked down when, you know, when they, when they had rapture dreams and stuff, so I tried it, I looked down, and I saw the earth uh, below me, miles and miles below me, I could see the whole earth, so you can imagine how, how far up I was, and the clouds around the earth, um, and uh, suddenly I could hear the voices of my kids on the earth. And they were talking with each other and they didn't know what had just happened. I was gone and they were just talking together, like just playing around like they always do. So when I was going up, I realized, since I realized it was the rapture, I kept praying, Jesus forgive me, my sins. Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. Um, I didn't have any specific sin that I knew of that I had done, but I, just in case, I was saying that over and over. But when I realized that my kids were still on the earth, I, I started praying that they would go up too. So, behind me, I saw three uh, sofa chairs from our house in the air with me. And they were empty. Now I know that sounds kind of weird, and that doesn't—that's not really sound biblical. And that's one of the reasons I thought this dream wasn't from God. But um, I kind of know what it means, though. It's symbolic that my kids were not there, just the chairs. Um, and the purpose of the dream was that I needed to tell my kids to get ready for the rapture, because even kids age. 
I don't know, five, the age that they can tell the difference between right and wrong is the age when they could potentially stay um, when the rapture happens. If they are not uh, close to the Lord and they play video games or they watch TV all the time or they, they love certain cartoon characters um, or, or they just think about the tooth fairy or Santa Claus more than than Jesus then potentially they could stay but that's what I understood from the dream is that my kids didn't go up with me and I needed to get them ready so I think that it's a warning not just for me but for anybody that has kids I, I do pray you know and I try to get ready for myself but just as much, we need to get our kids ready. And uh, that's all. That was my rapture dream, you know. And the only way for people not to think I'm crazy is when it actually happens. Then they won't think I'm crazy anymore. Uh, but for now, I have to look like a kook. And I just pray that God keeps on showing me things. Because it's, it's actually good to be crazy um, for the Lord. Because there's rewards for that in heaven. So I, I just want to bless you you all in Jesus' name and give you um, a prayer. I'll pray for you. And uh, a blessing. And I just pray in Jesus' name that you bless everybody who listened to this video. And I pray that they're edified by this message. And that um, their hearts will draw closer to you and that they'll be ready for the rapture. And I pray that my kids will be ready for the rapture along with me, my husband. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.